Today I'm going to show you how to create a push button in Visu Plus Express. Right now I have a new project open. If you look at my project explorer you can see the push button demo project is open right now. We have all our options here but we're going to head down right near the bottom to screens. If we expand these screens using the small plus button you can see that I've added one basic screen to my project. If we double click on screen one sorry double click on screen one there we go it's going to open that screen. So to add a button we're going to need to come over to our toolbox which I currently have pinned to the side but if you don't have it pinned to the side you can come up to view to the drop down arrow and then toolbox is right here and you can click on that to bring it up. Now once you're in the toolbox there are many different buttons Right now I have square buttons open, which you can see there's many different colors of square buttons. We can minimize that. Right below it there's rectangular buttons, many different colors in rectangular buttons. And right above that is round buttons, again many different colors of round buttons. There's many different we can choose from. Those are the normal buttons. We also have emergency buttons. And in basic controls there's also a push button. For this demonstration, however, I'm just going to choose a round button and we'll choose a blue one. To get that onto the screen, there are two ways. We can either click and drag it on, or I'm going to delete this to show the next way. We can click on it, bring our cursor into the screen, and then click and drag and make the button as large or as small as we would like. Once the button is placed on the screen, we have the ability to click on it and position it anywhere on the screen by clicking and dragging. And we also have the ability to change its size and proportions by clicking and dragging it wherever we would like. Any object on the screen, including this button, can be double clicked on and the properties will be opened up on the right hand side. Anything that involves changing the button is going to be here in the properties. We can start with position, where if you want something more exact than dragging it, we can change position X and position Y. I'll change from 300, we'll go down to 250. And from 90, we'll go up to 150. The width will go from 180 to 250. And in height, we'll go from 170 to 200. Now if we come up here, any anytime there's a change made in properties, you want to come up to the top to this green check mark to click it to apply the changes. And when I apply these, you'll see how the button is going to move its position and change its size. So you can see there by simply changing the position, height, and width, it changed the button. I'm going to double click again to reopen my properties. And here under general, we're going to add an object title, which is going to put a title on the actual button. So if we click in here, we'll just call it button one for now. And now that we have an object title, again, if we come up and hit check, you can see it created the title on the button. But obviously, as you can tell, tough to see. If we double click again back into properties, at the very bottom we'll see fonts, and at the very bottom of that we see title font. If we double click on title font, it is going to open up our font box. First, we can choose the actual font. If we want to go up to the top here and just choose a very classic Arial. Next up, we have our font style, which is defaulted to narrow. We can come down and choose bold so it pops out a little bit more. And right now it's only in size 8. Let's bump it up to a size 18 font. We hit OK. And if you see here now at the bottom, it did save as we see Arial in bold, size 18. And we can also, with the text align option, drop down menu here. And we could change to put it at the top, bottom, left, right, center, right, center, left. We're going to leave it right in the center though for our button. Again, since we made a change, we come up here, the green check mark, hit apply, and now you see the title is on the button now and looks much better. So that is the basics on how to create a push button in Visu Plus Express. 